guys, look. This is a dugong. Dugongs do have quite a long lifespan and can live around 60 to 70 years. Unlike their manatee cousins which often live in both fresh and salt water, dugongs only live in salt water habitats. This is puffer fish. Puffer fish have very strong poison in their bodies, namely tetrodo poison which is found in the liver, gonads, or reproductive organs, intestines and skin. This substance will make them taste rotten and is often deadly. His body is prickly. This is a hermit crab. The hermit crab will shed its old shell and make its body unable to move for some time, as if it were dead. Even though they are small, hermit crabs actually have quite a long lifespan, you know. Hermit crabs in the wild can live for 30 years. It has a very hard shell. There is a jellyfish. It turns out that jellyfish use their tentacles to see in the water, friends. At the end of a jellyfish's tentacles, there are simple sensors that can detect light and smells in the water. It has a transparent body. There is an octopus. Octopuses have eight arms, not tentacles, with suckers in the form of concave dots on the arms which are used to move on the sea floor and catch prey. The octopus arm is a muscular hydrostat structure that consists almost entirely of layers of boneless muscle. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish are invertebrates that belong to the phylum Echinodermida and belong to the class Asteroidea. This marine animal is a source of bioactive compounds and has antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory activity and many more. You like a star. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spotted stingray is not reef compatible, and so it needs sand as the substrate, because if any coarser is used it can scratch the underside of the fish, and that can lead to infection. Well guys, look. This is garfish. This alligator fish or often referred to as crocodile fish has a shape similar to a crocodile. It has a long mouth, snout and body like a crocodile only it doesn't have legs. This is a moray eel. Moray eels also have mucus like other eels, in some types of moray, the mucus contains poison. Moray eels have thicker skin with high density. This is gulper eel. Gulper eels have tiny eyes, which is unusual for deep sea creatures. Bioluminescence might also be used to attract a mate. Scientists believe gulper eels die soon after mating. There is a clownfish. Of the nearly 30 species of clownfish, there are two types commonly referred to as the orange clownfish, Amphiprion percula and Amphiprion ocellaris. The percula clownfish is distinguished by its vivid orange color and white bands outlined in black. There is crab! Crabs have teeth in their stomach. If you look at a crab at a glance, you will only see its shell, antennae, legs and claws. However, if you turn the crab's body over you will see that their stomach has teeth. There is lobster. Lobsters can live for decades, some species can even live hundreds of years. For example, North American lobsters and European lobsters are sea lobsters that can live up to 100 years. He has many legs. This is Gurnard fish. Despite its common name, the purple flying Gurnard does not fly. It can however, walk on the bottom by alternatively moving the pelvic fins and short pectoral fin rays. Well guys, look over there. This is Ammonite. Ammonoids were common in the oceans of the late Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras, from about 400 to 65 million years ago, 
becoming extinct at the same time as the dinosaurs. Although not accurately known. Wow, he circled! This is squid! Squid hunt by swimming in groups in the open ocean. When they find prey they will shoot their tentacles to hook onto their food. They will finish their food gradually by breaking it up. This is blue whale! Far bigger than any dinosaur, the blue whale is the largest known animal to have ever lived. An adult blue whale can grow to a massive 30 m long and weigh more than 180,000 kilograms, that's about the same as 40 elephants. Wow, so big! This is dolphin! If you have thought that whales and dolphins are fish, then that is not correct. Because in fact, whales and dolphins are not fish but marine mammals. Like mammals, whales and dolphins are warm-blooded animals. There is spotted eagle ray. Eagle rays are a group of stingrays in the family Miliobatidae. Most of its members consist of large stingray species that live in the open sea rather than on the seabed. This is manta ray. Manta rays also swim by moving their wings up and down, like birds in flight. These wing-shaped fins help them explore the waters and also help in finding food. There is a stingray. Some types of stingrays, there are species that have tails equipped with stinging spines called stingrays. The unique thing about stingrays is that they have eyes which are generally located on the sides. Well guys, look. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurs evolved around 100 million years ago, and diversified by 66 million years ago. This sea monster is thought to have become extinct and a giant asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, plunging the world into darkness. This is Hammerhead Shark. Hammerhead sharks are one of the predators that rely on electricity to detect their prey. The use of electricity allows the hammerhead shark to attack repeatedly even if its vision is obscured by blood or mud. This is Lemon Shark. Lemon sharks are not very brightly colored. They are more of a tawny color, giving them a muddy appearance. This makes them perfectly colored to match the sandy bottom of the environment in which they hunt. This is manta ray. Manta rays are ovoviviparous where the eggs hatch while still inside the mother's body. A female manta can carry two baby mantas in her body at once. The manta's gestation period itself is not known for certain. This is a decapodiform or Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. Thank you for watching guys.